I'm calling oh. Wayne. Hi. I can't. I don't know. For some reason, it won't work. Sean, can you mute Wayne real quick? Yeah, I'll just start, Kelly. Okay, we. Uh, it is seven. Whatever, seventeen, and tonight is the uh, Safety and Public Works Committee meeting of the Brainerd City Council. We have two agenda items. Uh, everybody is here. We're having a few technical difficulties with Wayne Erickson. Um, Paul, we've got two agenda items. Is there anything that you'd like to see us add? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Jan or Wayne, and I know Wayne, you may not hear me, but um, anything you'd like to add? No, I'm fine. Thank you. All right. Then we'll go with the two we got. Item number one is the DNR forestry tree grant approval. Mr. Engineer, can you walk us through this one? Um, yeah, so this was put up by uh, the parks director, Tony. I don't see him here, but um, I'll just kind of read the agenda request uh, for you guys. Uh, the forestry division has offered a $36,000 grant, um, which will be used to complete a city tree inventory, uh, adopt an emerald ash borer management plan, uh, replace and treat diseased ash trees, and develop a strategic management plan for the use of plan of the public tree resource. Um, there's no matching funds for the grant. Uh, the grant project rules must be completed by 2022. Uh, the DNR will reimburse the city for costs on a quarterly basis once invoices are received and the recreational coordinator uh, and the city tree inspector, Katie Kaufman, would be the lead to fulfill the grant requirements. Uh, this was unanimously approved by the park board. Um, and you'll recall as part of our budget for uh, 2021 and our discussions, we were talking about tree replacements and boulevards and things. And this will be a very, very handy resource to have at our disposal, having a full tree inventory, knowing where the diseased trees are that we uh, can use these funds to replace. And um, it'll go along well with uh, $20,000 that we currently have budgeted. Uh, in the 2021 budget for tree replacement. So staff's recommending that we approve this uh, grant with uh, Katie Kaufman designated as the lead person to, to fulfill the requirements. Perfect, any discussion, any questions, I, Jan? Yes, I do. Um, how, how much of an inventory of the trees do we have done? None, Jan. So <laughs> basically the only way we'd be able to inventory the trees would we would have to actually start. And so this is actually a very valuable resource. We see it because it would inventory everything in the public right of way or on city property for us and not expend funds or city resources to do so. What about uh, this? I'm just throwing this out, Paul and guys. Um, what about a pro could it have a program where, say I wanted to put a, uh, put a tree in my yard, um, that the city could help the cost. Would we ever be able to do anything like that? You know, I would, that would be a tough to, I think, you know, we can budget money for that um, okay. for like a cost share thing. We do mm -hmm. allow residents to plant trees in their yard at their own discretion at their cost. Um, there's a mm -hmm. list of them in the city code that we allow. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, we're trying to stay away from the elms and things like that that are really susceptible right. to disease. But we haven't looked into that. If that's something the city council wants us to do, we can certainly um, look and see if other cities do something like that and uh, bring something forward to the council at a future meeting. Mr. Chair, you and Wayne, you've been here for a long time. I noticed like my neighborhood, we all have a lot of the ornamental crab trees and I see a lot of those are around town. Was there some time at one time a program for that? Do you know? I'm not aware of that. Yeah, because like my neighbor, every everybody has a tree as far as they're in our, our yard. And so, okay, well, thank, I was just wondering because there's a lot around town. So I just thought there might've been a program at one time. Any further questions? Hearing none, the park boards unanimously approved the grant at its October 6th meeting pending approval from us. Staff is recommending the approval of the grant with Ms. Kaufman designated as the lead person to fulfill the grant requirements. Is there a motion to approve? Lambert, so move. Wayne, are you? All right, you're with us, Wayne. Any further discussion? 
Hearing none, since we're Zooming today, Paul, would you call the roll? Bevins? Yes. Lambert? Yes. Erickson? Yes. That, yes. Motion, that motion carries. We'll move on to item number two, which is um, something we recently discussed, the Crest, the 2014, which is the address, not the year, Crestview Lane requested to turn the streetlight back on. We asked the uh, requester or the petitioner to go uh, poll his neighbors. It appears he's done that. Mr. Engineer, anything you want to add to what I see? Uh, no, Mr. Chair, the uh, property owner, uh, upon our request, provided uh, all the neighboring properties uh, notice that they wanted the light turned back on and everyone signed off on it. So we're recommending approval uh, if that is what the committee and council desire. That's what I want. Any mm -hmm. questions of the engineer? Hearing none, uh, is there a motion to approve the request? Wayne Erickson will uh, make a motion to approve the request immediately. Thank you, Wayne. Is there a second, Jan? Lam Lambert second, yes. Any further discussion? I just, Kelly, this is Lambert. Yeah, Jan. I, the only thing I'd like to say is thank you for the city and for Mr. Roberts to go ahead and get this together for us. Right. Democracy in action. Thank yep. you, Jan. Mm -hmm. Any further questions? Hearing none, Engineer Sandy, would you call the roll? Bevins? Yes. Lambert? Yes. Erickson. Yes. All right. That motion carries and we are adjourned and we'll try and get back on. You got five minutes to get on to the city council meeting. Thank you all. We have some people outside. So I'm going to go downstairs. So I might not be back. I'm going to go talk to them. We'll call, we'll carry the ball for you.